Okay, so I'm talking about eating radical wellness as a youth in Canada. So this is the topic we're talking about introduction. What does eating right mean? What is wellness? How does healthy eating affect our wellness? It possesses the benefits of eating right. And how do we eat right? So you are what you eat and what you eat makes you. What we consume what we consume and don't eat today contributes to most of the illnesses and disorders that we encounter today. So if you are eating too much of processed food, um, too much sugars, it actually causes of illnesses, which we encounter today. And this isn't just for youth, it's also for the adults. So what does eating right mean? It means having a variation of food that comprises of vegetables and fruits, all grains and protein. When you eat um, different vegetables, as we, we all have different vegetables and different colors of vegetables, fruits, so mix them. You might eat um, spinach today with like broccoli. Tomorrow, you can eat another different type of um, vegetable. And you can also like mix your fruits. It also means eating food that sustains and nourishes your body. It means consuming the quantity of calories that is right for you, that is not too much and not too small. So what? So the amount of calories you take into your body uh, should be equal to the amount of calories you burn out. If you eat too much of calories and you're not doing any exercise, you're just sitting down and like, consuming sugar, consuming or pastries, and you're not actually burning it like walking or like running or like swimming, what you, the amount your body will continue to increase. Eating right can also be referred to as healthy eating. What is wellness? Wellness is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not merely the absence of diseases or infirmity. Achieving outstanding physical and mental health results via the practice of healthy method is what is meant by wellness. So if you're, if, if you're actually in a right state of mental health, you're physically active and you're um, consuming all the fruits, food, you, your wellness is being um, increased. You are actually being okay. So we have different dimensions of wellness, which is the intellectual wellness, the financial wellness, the emotional wellness, cultural wellness, occupational wellness, physical wellness, environmental wellness and social wellness. How does healthy eating affect our wellness? Um, so if you're eating the right food, if you're consuming the, um, taking enough water, you, there's a reduced chance, um, there's a reduced mood change. So you're not always moody all the time. You don't have no, um, switching mood, like you're happy one time. You're sad, you're angry. So there's a reduced mood change. You have enhanced concentration span. Um, you're able to concentrate in class as a student or like in programs and seminars. You're, when someone is talking to you, you're able to listen. You're alert. All you eating helps you feel more alert. Poor diet can cause fatigue. So you're not taking the right food, you're easily tired, and you, you, you just want to be lazy and sit down and not do anything. Importance and benefits of eating. It helps you maintain a healthy weight. It helps you maintain energy balance. That is, the amount of energy taken into the body and the amount of energy burned. It lowers the risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and some cancers. So if you're taking enough amount of vegetables, enough amount of proteins and fruits and whole grains, you, um, there's lower risk of, this, of heart diseases, diabetes, diabetes, 
and cancers. It supports your muscles. It, bo it boosts immunity. It strengthens your bones. It helps achieve and maintain the healthy weight. It helps the digestive system function. And it keeps your skin, teeth, and eyes healthy. And it also helps you live longer. So if you want to live longer, you have to improve your eating. Now, how do we eat right? So this is a um, plate guide, plate food guide. And you can see that half of the plate consists of vegetables and fruits. The other half consists, um, consists of proteins and whole grains. So, and also make water your choice of drink. Reduce sugary juice. Reduce or uh, uh, limit milk and dairy. Um, and dairy. Also, avoid sugary juice, as I said. Eat variety of whole grains, such as whole wheat bread, whole grain pasta, and brown rice. Limit refined grains. So, what does um, whole grains and refined grain mean? All grain is of uh, a grain that contains all three parts, the bran, the germ, and the endosperm. But refined grains are the ones that have been grounded to not contain the bran and the germ. So all grains is more healthy, is an earlier choice than refined grain. It's more fruits of colors. Yeah. The more vegetables and the Greater the more vegetables and the greater the variety, the better. So if you have varieties of vegetables, they're not just eating one type of vegetable, it's more of an healthy choice. Also, use healthy oils like olive oil and canola oil for cooking on your salad and at the table. Choose fish, poultry, beans, and nuts. Make sure you eat breakfast because it's the important meal of the day. Eating more of plant-based food such as nuts and legumes. Okay, so I'm just going to summarize the video. When you're cooking for your family or like for yourself, you can actually use this plate guide for any meal. Eat a breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even when you want to just eat snacks. So you can actually make veggie um have varieties of vegetables and fruits like carrots, like broccoli, like orange. So make it up on the outside of your plate. Then you cannot add nuts like cashew, that's like protein, so cashew, legumes, um, almonds, and you can add whole grain crackers for the whole grain aspect of the food or the snack. Then you can just eat that. So how do we eat right? Continuation. Eat less saturated fat, sugars, and sodium. Be cautious of your eating patterns. Take your time to eat and not rush it. I know that during school period, we don't have time to actually eat. We're always like busy on the road to go to classes and stuff like that. So you can actually prepare your food down and like store it. So when you're ready to go, you can just grab it, find a place to eat, like when you get to school, calm down and eat. Don't rush your food. And also eat when you're hungry. You know, like you've eaten 10 minutes ago, you now go and snack on, like, I, like you got to eat something else again 20 minutes later. Eat when you're hungry. And when you're eating, notice when you're full. Don't overfeed. Don't overconsume. Cook more often. So you can cook once and eat it twice. Let's say you cook um, rice and vegetable, like cook it, then you can eat it the second time, but you can actually um, take a different option. Maybe with your vegetable now, you can eat something like swallow with it, or like with your rice, you can make sauce or something, or like, yeah. So you can actually cook once and eat it twice, and you can cook in batch. So cook and leave it um, in the fridge. If you don't have time to be cooking every day, 
cook during the weekends, store them in small containers and put them in your fridge or whichever that needs to go to the freezer, you put it in the freezer. If you're eating foods that are processed, they should be small quantity and they should be eating less of food. So if you're eating more of um, McDonald's or like Starbucks or Tim Hortons, eat it once in a while, not all the time. Be mindful of food marketing because it can affect the types of food we choose. Okay, good. So they said food marketing affects like when it's advertised, you're enticed by like the pictures and everything so you want to eat. Another participant said um, an ingredient might be missing from the food and stuff like that. So most uh, food marketing affects the type, your types of food because the lightning placed on the food they make it look so beautiful that you want to eat it and like, oh no, I'm craving this, let me buy it, it. You go and spend your money and buy it. So be careful, so beware of food marketing. Use food labels. So what I mean by use food labels is, can you see the picture on this side? It's a nutritional fact that is always on every food package. Either be it the skin or be it sweet or be it anything that is packaged. And with this, you can know what is in that um in that food. So with it, you can know how many percent you're consuming. Five percent or less is low, 20 percent or more is high. So any food. 15 to 20 percent is high. So any food that is about 15 and higher, know that that ingredient is much. So if they put salt, I say it's 15 percent. Know that salt is a, is much in that food. Or if they put like sugar, five like uh, four percent to five, it's less. So you can actually know the amount of nutrients you are consuming. And it tells you the calories that is per food. So it says, so it says amount per serving. So for a biscuit now, it might say um calories is 20 or um, 280. So that food actually contains 20, 280 calories. So if you contain, if you eat two, like two packs of biscuit, you're consuming about uh for 560 of that biscuit. So that's the amount of calories you're consuming if you eat like two packs of biscuit or something like that, that's an example. So for, it also says four servings per container in the food. And those are the list of nutrients on the food. So you can actually calculate the amount of calories and the amount of nutrients you're consuming to your body. Be mindful of food marketing, yeah, I said that. So you can actually use food labels for food marketing. You could, so we, um, if you cook more, so you're able to control the nutri the ingredients you're using in your food. So I'll say cooking your food is more beneficial than actually going to a restaurant to that is because you don't know the amount of ingredients you put into that food. But if you cook your food yourself, you're able to measure it. As I've explained, the difference between all grains and refined bread. Okay, so we've come to the end of the slide. Eat, eating right, change the food, change your life. So if you're able to eat, choose the right types of food, you are able to change your life. Because eating too much of processed sugars and stuff can actually cause some diseases that you don't even want. But like, make sure you are able to portion your food, choose the right types of food, eat enough fruits and vegetables, make water your choice of drink, and you'll be able to change your life. Thank you. Awesome. Woo!